Hey guys, Joshua Baintech, and I've got the Note 4 in front of me here. This is going to be the unboxing, setup, and first impressions video. And then pretty soon I'll have a full review about the device. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't so you can see that video when it comes out. So let's take a look around the box real quick. That's a little bit different than what we've seen before. We've been seeing that kind of wood grain, kind of faux wood, <laughs> kind of fake wood, whatever wood, kind of woodchuck wood, chuck if you woodchuck wood. Um, <laughs> That was a mouthful. I don't even know why I said all that. But anyways, it's a different box. It's a little bit different setup as far as what the looks look like. But we do have you know the typical sleeve that we pull off here to the side. And then we just have the sleeve to open up here. So let's go ahead and get this opened. I'm trying to make this somewhat shorter video than some that I've done. But we're greeted with the device right away. And I went with the white because I just really like white devices. They just look the best to me. Not really a big fan of the darker ones. So it's just a personal preference and just the packaging from what I see here. They got some plastic wrap right here, so we'll go ahead and rip that off. And I'm actually going to leave the front one on because it's a nice little trick if you haven't learned by now that if you like to put screen protectors on, leave this one on until you're ready to put that new one on. And that just helps reduce the chances of any kind of dust or fingerprints getting on the screen before you install it. So that's just a little tip for you and it's something that's really been beneficial to me. So let's take a look around the device and just tell me right off the bat, like this feels really cool. I like how they got rid of that stitching on the side that the Note 3 had. One of the things that I did not like about the Note 3 was the sides and the sides were just not that great. The build quality was pretty poor in my opinion. They just really marked up really easy, but they got rid of that. It's a nice metal frame now and you got some of these nice little chamfered edges. It's really nice and looking. I, I really do appreciate that upgrade that they did to this phone. So just taking a look around the sides, we'll just kind of give you a little tour around the device. Got our S Pen down here, charging port, microphones. That chamfered edge just really stands out to me. It's really nice. You got your volume rockers over here. Got your headphone jack, IR blaster, and also some microphones. So on the back we got our full plate. You know, you got your speaker. You can see your S Pen a little bit more. You got your LED light. Also it's your heart rate sensor as well. Then you got your camera up here. This device, what's funny is that it feels somewhat smaller to me than what I'm used to because I've been using a Nexus 6 and this thing is just a beast. And just to put it right up next to each other real quick for a small, small comparison. It's really crazy how much, <laughs> how much this feels a little bit smaller. Or like, you know, this is a really big device, but now it feels a little bit small or a smaller device because it's a 5.7 inch screen versus a 5.9 inch screen. So that's just a little comparison for you. The Nexus 6 is definitely taller, but you got a lot more screen real estate. So on the right hand side is where you're going to place your fingernail to open up the back. And this is going to be where you're going to place your battery and it also shows you where your SD card and also your SIM card goes along with some connectors for some wireless charging. Let's go ahead and get through the rest of the box so we can see what comes in it. We've got our normal paperwork that Verizon includes. Now this time around we have USB 2.0 versus the 3.0 that we saw on the Note 3. And that's because they went with quick charging and you're able to charge this phone up really fast, which is really cool. The Nexus 6 has that capability as well and I really do appreciate the quick charge on it. And just a battery tip for you is that like you're supposed to let the battery drain all the way down and then charge the phone all the way back up. And now if you're like me, I used to just leave the phone plugged in during the night and then it's all ready to go in the morning. But if you take about an hour to get ready in the morning, you can charge your phone up in that short amount of time. The quick charge basically allows you to get the ability to get that full cycle battery charging cycles going on. So these are, a lot of people say that this is a SIM card removal tool. It's not. It is not. It is for the S Pen to remove the tips and replace those. It's not for the SIM card at all whatsoever. So that about does it for the packet. We got our charger cable. You know, I'll use that later. Then we got our quick charge here, and part of the full review will be testing out to see how quick that everything does charge. But most of all, I want to get to this battery so I can go ahead and fire up the Note 4. So Samsung decided to kick up the notch a little bit on the battery, and it's a 3,220 milliamp hour battery for the Note 4 this time around. Let's go ahead and get this put on in. Now you're going to want to match up the connectors, make sure you got all that straight. One of the things you're going to want to do is take out that SIM card that they have pre-installed if you're an unlimited data user like I am. That way you don't run into any problems. Glad I caught that because I about turned this thing on without doing that and that would not have been nice. Alright, so we just snap on the back. You can hear it and feel it snapping back on. 
and we'll get to our first boot in just a second as long as I make sure that everything snapped into place. All right, so let's check out the first boot. Power button on the side, hold it down for a second. Should feel a little vibrate, and then there we go. Galaxy Note 4, let's see how long it takes to boot up for the first time. And it got powered by Android at the bottom, which is awesome. Hopefully we'll see Android 5.0 pretty soon. Right now we're still on KitKat. So that was the boot up, and so let's go ahead and get this all set up. And obviously I'm gonna be doing the English, and for activation, you're gonna want a SIM card. I'm gonna skip that for now so I can get to the home screen and I can use Wi-Fi. And just kind of walk through these steps and that's about it. There's not much to it. So go ahead and set up your Google account so you can get your apps start to download. So you can set up some more accounts if you want to, but I'm just gonna go through and try to get to this home screen. If you've got a Samsung account, you can log in here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, now we're greeted with our home screen. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's about how you get a setup. It's pretty simple, uh, easy to get to. If you ever need to go back into it, you'd have the option to go through the setup again through the setup wizard. So my first impressions of this is that it feels like an upgraded Note 3 for sure. It's really crazy that this feels not small, but I could definitely tell the size difference between holding this and the Nexus 6. I'm really looking forward to putting this through a test run because I know that Samsung has probably the best Android camera on the market. The only other camera that really comes close to it, I would say in my opinion, would be in an iPhone. Between the iPhone and Note devices, I think that they have the best comparison between each other. That's pretty cool. I'm really excited to get this all going. And just, again, first impressions is it feels a lot more premium than the Note 3. The Note 3 just really has some really cheap aspects about it. And I'm really, really excited to get this going because, I, I don't know, I'm just a Note user. I really like Note devices. I like having the ability to have expandable memory, expandable batteries if you want. You can swap out batteries, you can get some bigger ones like a Zero Lemon, uh, just a lot of different stuff you can do with this. I think I'm gonna have a better time with this guy than I am actually with the Nexus 6. So stay tuned for the Nexus 6 review coming out really shortly. Hopefully to get that done in the next few days. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this.